Jodie Turner-Smith joins Adam Sandler and Jennifer Aniston in the new Netflix comedy Murder Mystery 2. And the actress tells People that while she loved her character, she wishes she got to spend more time with her famous co-stars. I wanted more, but I loved it. I loved it. I loved doing this movie, and I've already told everybody that I want to do the next one. I loved this character. She was so fun. She's like over the top, but very grounded, and like that's who she is. So it doesn't feel like it's doing too much. It's just like this is her truth. She's just over the top. Jodi began her acting career a decade ago, and now she's looking back at how her life has changed. That me, first of all, was just Jodi Smith. See, I changed when I uh, when I actually uh, signed with my agent that I'm with now, my manager that I'm with now. I changed my name to Jodi Turner Smith because Turner is my mother's maiden name, and I wanted in my success for when she saw my name. She also saw hers. Um, but anyway, Jodie Smith was just, you know, I was just trying to figure it out. And I just had this whim where I was like, you know, I'm here. I'm, I'm, I do more television commercials than I do modeling. You know, I was not that successful as a model. I should be submitting myself on acting jobs. I live in Hollywood. It's so incredible to me. And it's so, I, I can't believe I didn't even think about that. It's been 10 years, but there's something so special about finding something that you really like and working very hard at it and seeing what happens. You know, I just, I had no idea what direction I was gonna go in or what, what would become of me, but I just thought I have nothing to lose and everything to gain by just trying. You know, if I put the full weight of my effort and intention behind this, you know, while I didn't know like who I was gonna be, I knew that like, that me, one thing about me is if I put effort and intention behind something, I create results. Thank you for this journey, no matter how it ends. Jodi scored her film breakthrough with 2019's Queen and Slim. And while the drama changed her life, she explains that the experience also humbled her. I mean, I thought it was gonna be an even bigger turning point. I was like, oh, we're gonna get best picture for this. It's so good. <laughs> then I was humbled by Hollywood. No, um, no, I definitely thought it was gonna be uh, some kind of turning point. I had no idea, especially because it was my first movie and it's like all the anxiety of just, and the uncertainty and, and, and you know, there really is something to be said about like over time you become more confident as a performer and you can trust more and trust yourself more. But like then it was just all, it was just pure instinct and having absolutely no idea what I was doing in any way, feeling lost most of the time and just being centered by Daniel Kaluuya. And I remember when I watched it by myself, I had gone flown to London to go and test for a job I didn't get. And I flew back. And when I flew back, I like literally, I, I, I went straight to go and screen this movie when I returned. And I watched it and I remember that I was just, I just cried because I had no idea you know, and I felt proud of myself. Jody shares three-year-old daughter with her partner, Joshua Jackson, and says that working hard has inspired her to be an even better mother. Everything happened at the same time for me. You know, it was like, I fell in love right before I started this movie that would basically change my life. And then after I did this movie, I got pregnant. And by the time I was putting this movie out, I was pregnant. I was. I was secretly married. I was, you know, and, and I was trying to have one moment and not let the other moment overshadow it, which is why I tried to keep it secret. And and it was like, I don't know, it's been this thing of just like, even just trying to hold onto the wall. And then the whole world stopped and there was a global pandemic. And I got to slow down with this precious child of mine. And I'm so grateful for that. I mean, I know it's, you know, obviously the pandemic has been horrendous in so many different ways, but the one thing is it was like, it smacked me in the face and hit me upside the head and forced me to slow down. I'm glad it did because there's so much guilt and pressure on women and mothers to just act as though you haven't just gone through this deeply transformational process, this life-changing, earth-shattering, body-shifting, perception-shifting, transformation, like you're expected to just be the same person and move on and snap back and 
and and and deal and cope and no nobody wants to stop for you and it's an inconvenience to them to stop for you when you have just done this thing that is more powerful than anything that there is and so you know i don't know i don't i wish there were a manual i wish there were like a cut and dry way to do this but you know, I have the privilege of having so much support. I understand that even just that is a privilege. It allows me to be a working mother because it's so hard. And even with all that support, I still have guilt, you know, but I feel that to be fulfilled is being my best self for my child. And I try to involve her in my life, not let work be this thing that exists outside of her, but that she also gets to be a part of. And so that she sees me being a working mother and being fulfilled and wanting to mother at the same time. And I really want to have it all. I work really hard so that I can. For more with Jody Turner-Smith, pick up this week's issue of People on Newsstands Friday.